CBS's board of directors said to be discussing the fate of the company's CEO, Les Moonves, after six women accused Moonves of sexual harassment over the course of three decades, according to a report in The New Yorker. News of the allegations against Moonves first broke Friday, sending CBS stock plunging 6%, its worst one-day loss in nearly seven years. According to The New Yorker, not only are six women accusing Moonves of harassment and intimidation, dozens more describe abuse at CBS. The latest development, the CBS board is selecting an outside counsel to run an independent investigation into the allegations. The group not taking any further action at this time. The allegations against Moonves, which include forcible touching and kissing, date from the 1980s to the 2000s. In a statement provided to The New Yorker, Moonves says in part, I recognize that there were times decades ago when I may have made some women uncomfortable by making advances. Those were mistakes and I regret them immensely. But I always understood and respected and abided by the principle that no means no, and I have never misused my position to harm or hinder anyone's career. The New Yorker article was written by Ronan Farrow, who was also behind the Pulitzer Prize winning story last year about sexual misconduct allegations against Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. The first trial stemming from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian meddling in the U.S. election is kicking off tomorrow with jury selection in Virginia. The man standing trial is Paul Manafort, Trump's former campaign chairman. Manafort has pleaded not guilty to 18 counts of bank and tax fraud and failure to file reports of foreign bank and financial accounts. The charges are not connected to the Trump campaign. Prosecutors in the case say they may call 35 witnesses, including five who have immunity agreements, in their bid to show Manafort laundered more than $30 million money he made as a political consultant in Ukraine. Among the potential witnesses, Rick Gates, Manafort's longtime business associate, who was indicted at the same time Manafort was in October. But Gates pleaded guilty and has been cooperating in Mueller's probe. The trial will focus on alleged financial crimes and may not even mention Russia, but it could have broader implications. As the Washington Post puts it, a conviction on the 18 counts brought against Manafort would add credibility to Mueller's ongoing inquiry. Failure will underline the criticism he's received from President Trump and others who suggest his operation is a partisan witch hunt. The trial could last about three weeks. Manafort is due to stand trial on separate charges in Washington in September.